Hi everyone, my name is Kerry, and today I will be talking about some of my favourite queer books, particularly young adult ones. So the first one I'm going to talk about is Annie on My Mind by Nancy Garden. Uh, I've got my own physical copy, but you can find one on an app called Libby. It's by Overdrive. So, first of all, uh, Annie on My Mind was written in 1982. It was the first young adult novel with a young lesbian protagonist and a happy ending. It follows the story, a love story, of two young women. It's honest, it's refreshing, and at times, for me, it was heartbreaking. This goes on my list of favourites, mainly because I read it at a time when I was just starting to figure myself out. Ten years ago, um, figuring out my sexuality and how I was feeling, trying to find books and things to read about people like me was really hard. Um, and these um, Annie on my mind was one of one of the one of the ones that I found that really um, hit home with me and I really loved and I could read again and again for nostalgia's sake. Uh, the second book I'm going to talk about is Release by Patrick Ness. It's on my list of another favorite mainly because it's well, it's quite a new one 2017. I know there's a lot more now that um, are around but uh, Release is definitely a favorite because it spoke about Adam who was a gay teen. He's got Christian parents um, and it spoke about love, friendship, family, family struggles, religion, uh, bravery, loss, and it was hard-hitting and beautiful and it was sad. Uh, there was another part to the novel so it was kind of in two. It was One side was about Adam and the other was about a ghost um, who was sort of retracing her steps and finding out how she died. Uh, I preferred Adam's side of the story um, but the other part with the ghost was also beautiful, atmospheric. Um, and just really a really really amazing read. The last uh, book or graphic novel I'll be talking about is Lumberjanes. So uh, I've got my own copy here but you can also get yours on um, Libby. Also the Patrick Ness novel you can get on Libby as well. So Lumberjanes, I'll just read the back here. So Joe, April, Mel, Molly and Ripley are not your average campers and Miss Quinzella, Thisquin, Pinnacle, Thistle, Crumpets Camp for Hardcore Lady Types is not your average summer camp. So between River Monsters, Magic, and the Art of Friendship Bracelets, this summer is only just beginning. Join the Lumberjanes as they take on Raptors and a sibling rivalry that only myths are made of. So the Lumberjanes series is really just a really, really neat graphic novel series about five characters. One is transgender and two are in a relationship. Uh, there's issue 16, which even introduces a non-binary character named Barney, uh, and they use they and them pronouns. So it really, it's just action-packed, graphic novel, full of mischief, full of mystery. It's beautifully written, beautifully illustrated, and definitely a favourite of mine. So um, these are my three favourite queer books, or reads, um, and so I'll give you the list again. Annie on My Mind by Nancy Garden. Released by Patrick Ness and the Lumberjanes graphic novel series. Thanks for listening. Kakite!